From the Fox 25 studios in Oklahoma City, this is the Fox 25 News at 5. Want to go right to today's top story. We're learning how an OSU basketball player died. Tyreek Coger was taken to the hospital after practice. Sadly, doctors could not save him. Fox 25's Jasmine Anderson is live with emotional reaction from his coach. Just a day before its biggest show of the year, Vance Air Force Base is mourning the loss of one of its own. We now know the names of two people killed in a Thursday night plane crash just east of Enid. Fox 25's Bill Shammer is live in Enid with the latest. Police also need your help finding a guy who broke into a car in northwest Oklahoma City. Take a look at this video. Police say the suspect broke into a car near northwest 32nd and Harvey Parkway. No word on what he took, but if you recognize the man, call police. Well, it's been a year since a family in Broken Arrow was killed inside their own home. The two oldest sons stand accused. Meanwhile, people who live in the neighborhood are still trying to recover. David Norris from our sister station in Tulsa has more on how neighbors are coping one year later. The story is new today. New today, Boeing has sent out 60 day notices to employees who will possibly be let go. They're hoping to reassign as many of those people as possible to other jobs. The layoffs will be in the BDS program, which works with Boeing's defense and space contracts. Some jobs may be lost due to attrition, according to the company. More than 2,500 people work in the Oklahoma City Boeing plant. Coming up, he's been out of politics for a while. What former Ku Klux Klan leader is running for a Senate seat in Louisiana? Plus, federal workers paid more highly than ever before how the Republican platform plans to make changes. Welcome back, everyone. Hot, hot, and hotter. That's all we've seen all week, Marcy. And yeah. No, no surprise, another heat wave coming up, but I guess this is kind of our new normal. I wouldn't really call it a heat wave. Right. <laughs> I mean, temperatures are hot near 100. It's July in Oklahoma. It's kind of what we can expect for this time of the year. We're not right. going to break any records, but it's going to stay hot for the next few days. Now to political news. This was probably one of the most peaceful, one of the most beautiful one of the most love-filled conventions in the history of conventions. And when they talk about unity, I want to tell you, that was unity. That was unity, right? I saw you last night. That was unity. That was amazing. And uh, the party has just come together. The party has come together. That was Donald Trump last night. The Republican presidential candidate painted a dire picture of a country sliding deeper into poverty, violence, and corruption. Today, Trump may be protecting his voice, though. His speech clocked in at an hour and 15 minutes, the longest since 1972. He blasted his Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton, as he sets his sights on the general election in November. Oklahoma Republicans say Texas Senator Ted Cruz's refusal to endorse Trump will likely hurt his chances to become the party's standard bearer in the future. Delegate John Roberts of Oklahoma City says Cruz delivered a fantastic speech that captivated the convention crowd, but he also says Cruz tried to be coy by avoiding an endorsement of Trump and may have made himself a footnote in history. Delegate Hope Sutterfield of Duncan says Cruz shouldn't have attended the convention at all if he didn't plan to endorse Trump. Well the, 20, well, the 2016 Republican convention has come and gone, and many voters are now saying they're ready to hear more about actual policies and what both Donald Trump and other Republicans running for office plan to do should they win their elections in November. Our national correspondent Christine Frizzau takes a look at one aspect of this year's Republican platform, a plan to focus on changes for federal workers. Washington, D.C. is home of the federal government which means lots of government buildings filled with tens of thousands of... There's been a search ongoing for the last two years for the Malaysia MH370 aircraft. When they're planning to call it quits just ahead. Plus, Turkey declaring a state of emergency Why some are worried about the changes to what the president and cabinet can do during this time. That's coming up.